Thousands of kilometers away, but standing in solidarity with those who seek change in the country's leadership. After weeks of, at times, violent protests on the streets of Bujumbura, a small but vocal group on the doorstep of the United Nations, just days after the UN's chief negotiator stepped aside over opposition concerns that the United Nations was not being firm enough in telling President Nkurunziza that he should not seek a third term. They want the international community to be firm. We want to let them know we will not, we will not allow President Nkurunziza to stay as a prisoner of country. We want them to support us. But the UN insisting that the future of Burundi is for Burundians themselves to decide. The discussions that will be going on in uh, Johannesburg uh, on the sidelines uh, of the AU summit involving Mr. Jinnit, the Deputy Secretary General, and obviously people from the AU, uh, East African Community, Great Lakes region, to see what the best way forward is. Hoping to prevent a worst case scenario in a place many here still call home. Sherwin Briceby's SABC News, New York.